Hey guys, Silence Yale here. Welcome back to another Utameko's gacha video. As you can tell, there is no event banner hanging in the top middle portion of the screen right now because, well, we are just one day before the Red Boss event, and somehow Dana has decided to release the featured gacha that is kind of related to the Red Boss event, or rather any event right now, a day earlier so that you guys can actually try to attain the uh, episode plate or maybe to unlock the costume for that specific diva that is featured onto that gacha or you know just give you a head start to suck in more money later on so <laughs> guys before we begin breaking down Makina's brand new episode plate if you guys have noticed before there is a banner that actually has the discounted singing stone packs um, with the Nian Kuji tickets reappearing again uh, if you guys started playing the game since the refresh of uh, Utana Cross this morning in Japan midnight timing you will have probably seen the banner appear you know um, with that special mid portion banner that usually has the tick that lets you uh, select whether you want to have it not appear anymore throughout the day if you ever load up your Utan Across game. So yes, so the discounted Singing Stone packs with the Nian Kuji tickets are here for the third time because, well, I, I'm really not surprised about it. Usually, uh, the norm the norm is actually just twice for this discounted Singing Stone packs. But because Macross Crossover Life Matsuri uh, which is the event we are going through right now is going to be dragged on into December because they've only featured 5 divas in the month of November and of course December they will feature the last remaining 5 therefore you know they have to have you purchase more discounted singing stone packs to pull that Nian Kuji uh, especially for those who are trying to obtain you know a plus 5 luck value on their uh, Miki Motos episode plates which is kind of a insane thing to do because that is a whopping a lot of money and I highly do not recommend anyone to do so so yes guys spend what you can if you can afford to buy the singing stone packs I will only recommend the 10,000 yen one because it's definitely worth your money and of course if you can buy it now it's the best time to do so because of the red boss event where you actually need the uh, autumn spheres um, which if you guys don't know by now you should because well the red boss event have been running for almost half a year now uh, and you should know that the radars will be sold in the autumn sphere or the seasonal sphere store uh, once the event starts and it goes into the second day of the event that's when they will start uh, letting you exchange your seasonal spheres for those radars to break up on those points that you need for top ranking in this current event. And of course, <clears throat> if you happen to have a buttload of seasonal spheres just like me because I bought like the discounted packs twice, <laughs> I only bought the 10,000 yen one if you're wondering. So I bought, you know, two packs of the 10,000 yen plus. I had a bit of yen left over so I kind of bought the the cheaper one which was the I think it was about a thousand six yeah so thousand six yen pack I just happened to have extra yen uh, within my iTunes account so I decided to go and hit and purchase that one and of course with those Nyan Kuji tickets I did manage to pull out all of the Mikimoto episode plates from page one and page two so right now I am in the midst of clearing page 2 so I can move on to page 3 you know to collect even more wonderful stuff and hopefully maybe by luck I might unlock a plus 1 luck value on one of the plates but who knows it's all down to RNG <coughs> and of course excuse me and of course it's all down to your gigantic hole in your wallet <laughs> so yeah so if you guys have a buttload of uh, seasonal spheres don't forget to redeem the um, special winter you know set for your decor room and of course uh, aside from that there is also the uh, super galaxy medals exchange that will feature brand new decor items as well so there we go we've got the Messer 
um, tapestry that you can have in your decor room. I have not exchanged for it, so why not do it now? There we go. And as you can tell, I've still got quite a bit of uh, Super Galaxy medals hanging around, even though I've already claimed the top brand new episode plate for the Red Boss event. And of course, I've already uploaded the image onto my Facebook YouTube page if you guys have not seen that post what are you doing follow me on my facebook youtube page once again the link is in the description as always uh, click that link make sure you hit like onto the page and of course you won't miss out any other uh, important uta cross information if i ever update it there uh, aside from my youtube videos which is nowadays just a norm for gacha videos and probably tutorials on how to handle certain brand new things that occur in Ultimate Cross. So yeah, so I will definitely have enough Super Galaxy medals for the next Red Boss event so I can still relax a bit um, on this current event. You know, I don't really have to rush for top 100. In fact, there is no need to anymore because ever since the last update um, for version 3.1.0, um, Dana has made it way easier to attain Super Galaxy medals so there is really no need to actually to rank top 100 for the event anymore just do your best make sure you use up every single radar you have in your arsenal and of course uh, spend wisely on your singing stones because even though it is cheaper by half right now you basically refill 3 AP crystals with uh, 5 singing stones but it is still a drain on your singing stones if you just you know mindlessly dish out damage you know uh, for your team and of course personally for yourself and then you end up having the adrenaline of um, overplaying and of course overspending your resources that kind of stuff so anyway guys that's enough about the side stuff within Uta Macross let's go into the actual gacha let's break down uh, Makina's brand new episode play that has costume points for her brand new Macross crossover sweet Costume, uh, I don't know, the name of the costume is pretty strange, it doesn't seem fitting, I suppose. I mean, Makina is a, a sweet, sweet girl, so yeah, yeah, her costume name is just crossover sweet. I don't understand. So, the thing about Makina's costume, it looks a lot nicer um, on illustrations, but when you see the 3D model of her costume, it doesn't seem to, I would say, look as awesome as the illustrations. I don't know. That's that's how I personally feel it. It looks, it looks like some kind of um, I don't know, some kind of Scottish or Swedish kind of costume. Uh, I don't know. That's just my personal perspective. <laughs> it just looks a bit different or doesn't really look appealing. Uh, as compared to the illustrations that was used for the key arts in Macross Crossover Live 2019. So, ah uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's dive into the episode play. We've, we've dilly dallied long enough. So, total score 3,853. Pretty high. That's pretty fantastic. Um, so, uh, I guess most of the crossover episode plays for the individual divas are pretty powerful so i can directly tell you that they all are within the top tier ratings of episode plates within Uta Macross right now it's just that the last remaining page the one where you see the special notes attached to the episode plate um, they are the deciding factor on how high in the tier rating they will go so yeah, so well balanced stats all around for Makina, so pretty fantastic of course. You want to take note of Kaname, Cheryl and Milane who are also able to equip Makina's episode plate. So it does have an S rank center skill. So from the looks of it, this means that Makina's episode plate is meant to be used as a center position episode plate for high score purposes. So the love element plates total will be boosted by 60% up not the best percentage boost but you know considering that it helps focus on a typing of episode plate so Makina's episode plate is definitely meant to be used for a pure uh, pink or love element song uh, with a full setup of the same element as well with, um, among your other two divas including Makina or whoever is in your center position that is equipped with Makina's episode plate. Alright so let's move on to the second page. So active skill 
for 10 seconds, your score is boosted by 100%. Uh, it, is ha it has the standard high score activated ability that we are so used to, uh, aside from the brand new one that we have gotten recently, which is the bonus score up uh, active skill. So yeah, this is a more play safe active skill. It's definitely a, a, an active skill that you want to have if you are kind of unsure about your um, your senses not being at its sharpest to get that full combo, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so life skill score up. So it does have a high score boosting life skill, but it, you know, because of its B ranking and of course the percentage that is given, it is definitely down the dumps. Alright, so let's move on to the last page, which is the most important of all. And sadly to say, nothing attached to Makina's episode plate. So, is Makina's episode plate actually worthwhile if you don't have a pink element episode plate um, with a center position active skill like hers? And of course, that doesn't, you know, beat this total score. Definitely. Um, invest into this gacha and of course why not invest to it because you definitely have missions that require Makina to wear a crossover sweet costume to clear the missions so yes guys if you guys don't know by now what I'm talking about let's dive into the mission page yes we are dilly dallying again once again before doing the actual gacha pool because it is necessary information so yes here we go crossover missions as you can tell, I have not cleared Milane's and Reina's some of them because, well, the event just ended recently and I haven't really gotten the time to go ahead and play those other songs that they are required. You know, so I'll probably do it before I go to bed tonight. So yeah, here we are, Makina's missions that require you to have her wear her crossover suit costume. Alright, so the other two songs that you actually need to pay attention to, you have Valkyrie Gatomara Nai which is the featured song that if you use Martina in her crossover suit costume, she will do that special scene, just like Reina, you know, winking at you, that kind of stuff. So right, and the second song, oh, Nijiro Kuma Kuma, huh? So, <laughs> of course, a sweet girl has to play a sweet song. So if you guys don't know what Nijiro uh, Kuma Kuma is, it belongs to Ranka Lee, and that's uh, the song that was actually performed in Sayonara no Tsubasa, um, of course, which is the Macross Frontier second movie, uh, which features more of Ranka's story, uh, unlike um, the first movie, which is totally featuring Cheryl No. So, yeah, so Nijiro Kuma Kuma, definitely, definitely a song that is suitable for. Makina, you know, considering that how Kiawawa she has always been throughout Macross Delta. Alright, so let's dive back into the gacha finally and let's do the template pool. Um, if I have to, I might end up using all 800 stones that I can for this gacha. Uh, if, uh, probably by the end of the month, let me see how many days do I have left before the this comes up, packs disappear, there's 5 days. Oh great, uh, so my payday will definitely be coming across within the time period itself. <laughs> yes, I do have a normal full-time job, if you guys didn't know, I am not earning a single cent making, you know, YouTube videos for Uta Macross, Pokemon Masters and whatever not I'm doing. Even though there is something we probably have to talk about regarding the recent changes for YouTube and that is going to take effect in January 2020. So that will be another time for another video. Alright, so let's do this guys. Hopefully we do get the episode played. Um, but considering that the recent good luck slash bad luck we've been getting from the last video, uh, I don't know, it doesn't seem like we might get anything out of it. Uh, but who knows, you never know, RNG can surprise us sometimes. So we did get a bit of loading at the beginning, so hopefully at least we get some new episode plates that have the costume points. Alright, so here we go. Oh, first bling, there's no red boxes. Oh no, this is horrendous. So yeah, the bad luck continues on with Makina's first pool. Uh, hopefully the second pool doesn't end up too horrible. Alright, so there's... Ooh, okay, we do get the uh, exclusive 
episode plate that only gives costume points, so that's pretty fantastic as well. Alright, so hopefully... Oh, we do get two copies! So that's nice. Uh, the rarity should be the same as the first one, uh, considering that there are different rarities of those episode plates as well. Alright, so... Okay, not too bad. Okay, they are the same rarity, so it will fully evolve that episode plate, so not too bad. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna do a second round. We have to exit out because the, the first pull is discounted. Hence, therefore, there is no continue to pull button. Alright, so here we go. My last pull for Makina. And of course, um, for this time round, as you can tell, I am not really saving my singing stones for the Red Boss event. Because I'm going to take it easy this time round. And I'm definitely going to be kind of busy this time round because of uh, Anime Festival Asia. If you guys don't know, um, this weekend is Anime Festival Asia in Singapore. Where Juna is coming to perform alongside with Mayan and a few more, uh, you know, any song artists as well. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll leave a link to the official any AFA website. You can go and check them out. Um, you know, who knows, maybe you want to plan a last minute, really last minute trip. Because <laughs> the event is this coming weekend. So you do have like five days uh, or less than five days to maybe plan a flight here. <laughs> I don't know, or even get tickets for the event itself. So yeah, uh, go crazy. Think about it quickly. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The last ten plate pulls. Hopefully we get something nice. Oh no. Okay, we do get some loading. I was, I was a bit worried there for a moment, but it was a bit too quick. So that doesn't seem like a good sign. Okay, so three planes. It's not gonna guarantee us a rainbow box though. Oh, we do get a rainbow box! Wow, so jinxing myself actually works. Haha, <laughs> we've seen we've seen myself jinxing. Oh, I mean, I'm jinxing myself in some of my older. Oh God, dang it! <laughs> in my older videos, uh, that end up giving us rainbow boxes. But you know, as you can tell, um, the rainbow boxes don't give us the new plates, so that's kind of a bummer. But at the same time, it's a good thing because unlocking uh, secret boards for those episode plates then getting closer to the Kira Kira effect is fantastic as well. You know, oh yeah, so we get more of those episode plates that give us points for the costume so I can use lesser episode orbs to unlock the costume. Pretty fantastic, there we go. That should be the last red box. Okay, oh, I was wrong. Oh. So quite a few new plates, that's pretty fantastic. So I wonder what costume points does do those plates give. So let's take a look here. Oh! It belongs to Makina! Wow! Now that's unexpected. So we do get quite a bit of costume points for Makina. So that's pretty fantastic. Let's go check out the um, the wardrobe section for the Divas. And let's see how many points do I actually rack up from just this painful 800 wow we actually got crossed half the required amount so okay i think i can unlock makina's costume right here right now let's do this guys as usual uh, be patient with me because um you know unlocking all this this take a bit of time all right so we're just going to go straight for the costume points let's ignore the rest of the step ups from now i'll probably do that off camera on my own timing all right this plate should be done. There we go. And of course, we've got the one that's Frey Frey. Alright, we are giving some love to Maki Maki. Alright. There we go. Alright, so all that's left is this one. So if you guys still don't know how these episode plate works, you only can view these episode plates in this particular section of the uh, Uta Hime tab, you have to go through the costume section or the episode section, that's basically what it's called. Um, so in order to view this episode place, you have to come to this part of the, the game menu. If not, there is no way to view them at all. So alright, so there we go, we kind of need quite a bit of 
points left so let's move on to the item usage so as you can tell i do have kind of a bit of a episode of stored up because uh i had to go check through my entire episode listing um filling up all those um costumes or valkyries that only needed a few points left to you know to give me that episode of large to unlock more costumes because well crossover live festival is a lot of drainage on all of these episode arcs especially if you're a free to play player you kind of need to use them to unlock costumes to complete those missions so yeah here we go guys we're gonna unlock Makina's costume right here right now and of course as usual if you guys want to see the special scenic movie i will upload it on my facebook youtube page links in the description down below Alright, so that's it for Makina's costume and her episode plate. What do you guys think about her episode plate and what do you guys think about Makina's costume? Does it look a bit strange to you that it, that it is now rendered in 3D model? Um, yes, it's probably the only costume that you can actually look up Makina's skirt easily because it's designed that way. <laughs> and yeah, so... Guys, let me know once again if you appreciate this video by hitting the like button to this video. Of course, comment down below your thoughts on what uh, the episode plate is like, the costume is like, and you, of course, I want to know how do you guys do for your own personal gacha pulls. And of course, as always, share the love of the culture, and I'll see you guys soon in the next Utah Macross Gacha video. Until then, subscribe!